Hi, my name is Adam. Today I'd like to showcase a small 2D engine I've been working on using C-Sharp and the Monogame framework. Monogame is a simple and powerful .NET framework for creating games for multiple platforms using the C-Sharp programming language. It can be described as a code-first framework which means that unlike a fully-fledged game engine such as Unity or Unreal, it just provides the building blocks to build your own engine. If you're into game programming in more of its original sense and like to have full control of every aspect in your development, Monogame might be what you are looking for. Now, let's get started. I made a small example project for demonstration purposes. Let's take a look at the very core mechanics of the engine so far. First off, we got a good old rectangle collision detection going. We have some adjustable acceleration and deceleration in order to create a somewhat smoother movement. And we have the basic jump mechanic you would expect from any platform character. The jump itself is input sensitive, meaning the harder you press the jump key or button the higher the jump. Additionally we have the classic double jump. We also have wall clinging, along with wall climbing, and as you would expect, also wall jumping. Abilities such as these can easily be attached or detached to the player character as well as tweaked and adjusted through several properties. Additionally abilities that may or may not be added to the player so far are swimming, diving, as well as a grab and throw ability. Now let's take a closer look at our 2D camera. You might have noticed that the camera is not just blindly following the player's X and Y axis. Instead the camera is following what I've come to call the camera movement bounds. This is a small rectangular area around the player in which the player character can move freely without affecting the camera directly. Not before the character start pressing against any of the edges the bounds itself will move and the main camera will then follow. Additionally, when the character stops the bounds will try to smoothly center itself in relation to the character. The movement bounds size is fully adjustable. Hopefully this makes for more smoothly moving cameras with less stuttering and jerkiness. Now to the fun part. Let's take a look at some graphics. The engine provides some basic graphic systems such as a state-based animation system, a parallax background system, a small particle system as well as manager classes for input and sound handling. The actual level generation is done in Tiled. Tiled is a well-established, open-source level editor and a great tool for creating tile-based 2D levels. By following a set of predefined layer names and classes when creating a tile map using Tiled, the engine will automatically implement basic logics such as tile collision, water, ladders, platforms, camera transitions and more. That's all I had for this video. If you'd like to see more videos about this project, please let me know in the comments. If you'd like to try out the engine yourself, you're more than welcome to join my Discord. There you'll find all resources needed to get it up and running. Until next time, have a good one.